This is Lillian Jockman reporting for the Scholastic News Kids Press Corps. I'm in Boston, Massachusetts at the Harvard University Science Center, and I'm speaking to Anna Rothschild, who makes science videos for the Washington Post. Right, so um, I call myself a science journalist or a science communicator. Um, I went to school for science journalism. It's actually a thing you can go to school for. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, if you want to just describe it, I make videos about science for kids and also for people who are young at heart, I guess. <laughs> Previously, Anna hosted a PBS Nova YouTube series called Grow Science, which explored the slimy, smelly, creepy world of science, nature, and medicine. Now, she works for the Washington Post and hosts a series called Anna's Science Magic Show, Hooray! So why do kids watch this and like, what is it about? So the show is really just about rejoicing in science and um, to me, science is as close to magic as we have in this world. So I wanted to sort of bring that to life in the show. Um, for now, what I'm actually doing is I'm answering questions from the audience. So I really want kids to send me their questions so I can actually speak directly to them. Um, and I think that's the biggest reason to watch the show because I'll actually answer your question. Okay. Um, and um, so I saw the intro to the show and it's very fun. You know, there's lots of like little animations. So I was just wondering, because I'm curious, do you do those animations or you have a team who kind of does that for you? Yeah, I actually do them myself. Really? Yeah. yeah that's so fun. Um, and one thing I would actually really like to say is that uh, I am not a classically trained animator at all. I studied biology in college and then um, I got my master's in journalism. But I really wanted to tell stories that would take me to places where I just couldn't go, yeah, you know? Right. And so if I wanted to tell a story about like a crazy fish that lived in Hawaii, I needed to figure out a way to tell that story without actually getting a plane ticket to Hawaii. <laughs> so I just like started experimenting with animation. And I'm telling you, I am not an artist in any way by training. If I can do it, anyone can, can do it. it. Okay, and um, you know, if it's not like, you know, top secret, like what are, th um, what are some topics in your videos that kids could expect? Um, really for this show, it is, Anything is up for grabs. I will say, I did used to make a show called Growth Science, mm -hmm. um, and since that topic is still very dear to my heart, I promise you that there will still be quite a lot of gross, slimy, disgusting stuff in the show as well. But also some not gross. Just to warn everybody. So, you know, what were you like as a kid? You know, like you did, the, you did, you said you did gross science. Like, were you like the type of kid who like pick up a worm and like to show everybody, or did that really come like later on? I, I was always really interested in science from a very early age. So yeah, I got a slime, uh, like a slime chemistry kit when I was, I think in sixth grade, my mm -hmm. parents gave it to me. And after that, I was just like totally hooked. I wanted to explore everything in the world. I wanted to pick up every disgusting thing or every beautiful thing and yeah. like learn about it.